Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Alaska with dumbass Elmo and uh, News Now Alaska, of course, as they get kicked out of another courthouse. Yeah, I uh, think dumbass Elmo is just trying to see how many he can uh, get kicked out of in Alaska and try to beat that record in the next state he goes into. I mean, it's it's some sick game with this idiot. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Well, normally I can send this, but when it's multiple volumes, sometimes they'll say like, it's gonna take a week or more. And since court is coming up, mm -hmm. that's why I was like, well, it'd be probably easy for me to just do it because they're not gonna wait a week, mm -hmm. you know? And so when you guys get backed up on these, it's usually, so. This is the court policy. Because I had one in Anchorage that's three volumes it? like this. And they Would you like, ask that you stop now? Because they got to take the staples out. Well, why don't they? Okay, and but why don't they? don't really need any of All right, so. We're, we're not don't explaining any of those pages. You're not explaining? Not, why are you being rude over a camera? You know, because like, I've asked you to stop. And if you're not in compliance, we will call judicial services. Okay, so what law am I breaking? Well, it doesn't really have to be a law. If you fail to follow the procedures and policies of any building that you're in, you can be trespassed from any building that you fail to do so in, especially courthouses. And guess what? Judges have say over what goes on in a courthouse. And for good reason, the safety and security of everybody else in that building. Not just the whiny crybaby dumbass Elmo, but everybody that comes in there. The needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few or the one dumbass Elmo. So deal with it, bozo. I... This is this will explain it. Okay. And we need you to leave. You need us to leave. We need you to stop filming or we need you to leave. I'll go ahead and speak to somebody else. Thanks. Wow. Unreal. Here we go with the with the judge's orders. The king of the building, huh? The king of the building. Doesn't want people to film here. This is one of those. Look at this. Look how big it is. About the use of cameras. You know, when they do this, when they do this, you already know. You already know that cops are not protecting the Constitution. They're not standing up for what they, you know, they, they truly took an oath to. Oh, come on now, you dumbass. Don't give us that Billy Jack bullshit. The police do take an oath, and they uh, honor it every day by protecting the world from scumbags and idiots such as yourself. And one need only look into your criminal history to see how much of one you truly are. And now a lot of your old frauditing buddies have recently come out against you. They're all spilling the beans on who you truly are. And it is quite funny to hear. I mean, it seems like those charges that you have on your record, well, they seem to be quite accurate now, wouldn't they? If uh, what we're hearing is true. This is a clerk's office in Alaska where people have no right, no freedom of the press, no freedom of the press. How terrible is this? Terrible. A dumbass Elmo. Freedom of the press does exist in there, but you just don't understand how it exists. You can print your stories anywhere, anytime, without government interference. But here's the thing. You just can't take a camera in there because, uh, well, juries... Uh, attorney client privilege and everything like that. So basically, you're using the false equivalency fallacy every time you're 
you open your freaking mouth. Stop it. Stop it, dude. It just makes you out to be a complete imbecile and a fucking liar to boot. What's going on? I believe our rights are, have been violated here. Can can you tell me your name and your batch number so I know who I'm speaking with? Sergeant Long, 561. What's going on at this courthouse, brother? We I go through I, I go to courthouses all over the country and yes, there's no filming inside the courtroom. What's up with the order that the judge is giving here trampling all over the First Amendment on common areas? Oh, you've been all over the country, that much is for sure. But you have several children that you are not taking care of at this moment, that you are just well, leaving in the cold as far as their uh, mothers go, that you're not paying child support to. I mean, good freaking grief, dude. Uh, be a man. Man up and take care of your children. That is sure as hell more important than going around the country being a total fraudster, lying to everybody that you come in contact with. Oh, wait. To me, that would be more important. But to you, I'm sure you're just one of these deadbeats who thinks, well, I can make more babies and I can get away with it. Well, man, you are just an outright loser for doing that to begin with. You suck as a human being. We have the right to come here and work on stories. What's going on with the, all this you, paperwork? Yes, you have to have a court permission. You can get the court permission to do it. You can't why Why is the courts doing that, though? Since when? We have the First Amendment. In all courtrooms all over the country, we have news people that walk in in common areas. As long as they're not interfering with the operations of the courthouse, we have the right to be here. Uh, dude, those real journalists that you're talking about, the actual press, they get permission to do so. I don't know what you're complaining about because, well, it says right here that you can get permission yourself to film in the court house, but you're just too much of an incompetent, whiny, crybaby buffoon to read that part and understand that you're a complete and total freaking moron. This is this is just tyranny all over, and the judge has no authority to make up rules. Hey, Mr. Lawler. How you doing? How you doing? Good. How are you? What's up, bro? What's going on? You shake your hand. You know who I am, right? Who are you, brother? Here's now Alaska. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What's going on, brother? What are you doing much. here today? Same thing you're doing. Really? Yeah. Really? What's right. going? Maybe you can. You're from here, so maybe. And we have thousands watching right we now. The paperwork from the other day. Yeah. Maybe. As long as, as long as you don't go inside unless you have court permission, that's all we ask. Why do we need so, permission? That's the whole point. That now you can't tell me that this thing wasn't staged right here. I mean, come on now, dumbass Elmo. You think we're all stupid? Oh well, of course you do because you've got a superiority complex where you think that you're better than everybody else. So stop breaking our ball right here and uh well tell the truth about this encounter because yeah uh something tells me that one of you contacted the other and suggested this whole thing nah this didn't happen by accident no way something you'd have to ask the court well sir you that's something i'm asking you you're the one that's enforcing the exactly. laws and you're the one that that took an oath to protect this. The judge has uh, the, the judge has no authority but to enforce laws. And 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 we that's why we have the that's why we have Congress and senators and people that make laws. He has no authority of controlling our uh, constitutionally protected rights in a public building, sir. As an administrator of this building, dumbass Elmo, yes, the judge has authority to create policies that govern that building, you fucking idiot. So shut your damn mouth and move on, because, well, you just talk right out of your ass. So you as, uh, as a sergeant, uh, Sergeant Long, I, I, I know that you became a police officer for the right reasons, and it was to, to uphold the Constitution and keep Alaska safe. Uh, this is not keeping it safe. We have a Fourth Amendment violation right here in the entrance. People already got to drop, let everything go. The, the First Amendment, out of the window. Second Amendment, out of the window. Do you know what the Third Amendment is, sir? Sorry, dumbass Elmo, but I cannot believe that uh, your First Amendment right was violated because the very fact that you were able to publish video proves otherwise. Because if the government didn't want you to publish it, this video would never have been published. 
Second Amendment, well, uh, you can't exactly take guns into the courthouse anyway, douchebag. And, uh, well, aren't you a felon? Uh, you can't own guns anyway. So that's really a moot point right there. Third Amendment regarding quartering of soldiers, well, that hasn't had any relevance in this country and. Well, well over a century. Fourth Amendment? Uh, dude, uh, they are not seizing your property, dumbass. They are looking at your, uh, ID. Your government issued ID, which really isn't yours to begin with. So that's another stupid argument right there, bozo. Now I continue on, but you know, all your arguments are quite uh, easily debunkable and uh, just plain childish to begin with because they're formed by the mind of a child like yourself. That being said, he doesn't really get to go back in there anyway, and he is definitely kicked out. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?